Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Push Rod Performance Garage. Today's adventure, we're picking up where we left off last time. So we got our floor patches in. I've been doing some cleaning and, and everything off camera. I got more of the old seam sealer out on, uh, you know, around the trans tunnel and some other parts of the car. As you can see, we're kind of more vacuumed and cleaned up a little bit. So what I'm going to do today, uh, we're going to throw some paint. I already ground down all the areas around the uh, spot wells from the patch panels. And maybe we'll get to pulling the bushings and stuff on the uh, on the rear end. Maybe we'll get some paint on that today too. We're gonna see where we're gonna go. Um, I'm gonna put a little paint. Just I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shoot some rattle cam paint over the uh, over the spot wells that I got before I throw a uh, seam sealer on it. So this way we can keep the rust at bay. All right, let's get cracking. I'm actually surprised I still have some rust oleum laying around. Hey, <sighs> I just vacuumed all this shit. Man, I. I, I, I tell you, you know what? Screw that. Leaf blower. <laughs> yes. Can't go wrong without it. Bye-bye. I, I think that just makes things worse. Oh, well. Whatever gets sealed up there will live there for the rest of its life. Look at that brand new can of Rust Oleum Black. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, the cool part was is I did catch a couple of wires, so hopefully none of those were going to the janky uh, remote start system that I have to uh, undo. Yeah, see all this? Oh my God. Yeah, see all the spaghetti right here? Look at this. This is what I have to undo. Hmm. Oh well, I guess we'll get to that when the time comes. Okay. We just, we don't want things rusting when we throw down our, our seam sealer. We're not going to spray paint the floor. I'm actually going to roll it. I got some satin black from, you guessed it, Rust-Oleum. Mm. A little spraying would be so much easier. I just want to protect all this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's that rust oleum steam. This way the paint can dry, and then we can seam seal it. All right, let's go over to the other side. Who wants to come over and help paint with me? Huh? Anybody? Oh, oh man, I still got some welding to do. Hey, get the fuck out of here. All right. Well, on the plus side, we can kind of see what we're doing here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're just covering stuff. Like I said, rust proofing. Okay, there's no such thing as proofing, but, you know, things. Hmm. There we go. You know, I still haven't been underneath to see what the underside looks like. Probably should have did that first before I started painting, in case I had to do some beating and welding. <sighs> hmm. Oh well. So for the sake of sounding like an old man. <laughs> Alright, I'm not that old. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to a lot of YouTube videos, I'm sorry, but I gotta say something. You know, one of the biggest reasons why I started this channel was just to teach you guys how to do stuff, show you guys how to do things, instead of just being like, I see a lot of videos where guys are like, all right, I'm gonna remove the bushings on here. Okay, I got this set up, doom, 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 doom. Okay, and they're done. Like, you didn't show us how to do a damn thing. <sighs> like, hmm, maybe I just put some boobs in there for clickbait, you know what I mean? Because boobs always get, uh, always get clickbait. So what we did first is I ground all the uh, rust and stuff off of here, which is probably not going to help us out at all. We're going to shoot some more PB Blaster in here and see if that helps us out at all, honey. Because, you know, this stuff is, it's fantastic. So we got a UPR um, removal tool kit here. And we're going to see how well this works or if it works or if I know how to set it up. But from what I read, you just kind of put this together on one end okay your fat boy on the on the outside actually it goes right over that look at that see you take a little big thick washer 
put it on the other end. You know, I should have a couple washers on the front here. They really should give you a thrust washer because that would make things a little bit easier. We're also going to shoot a little penetrant on here just to kind of help things out a little bit. Same with our threads. Should use some anti-seize or, uh, you know, maybe some, some things on the threads. Now, if this is going to move for us, which I don't think it's going to, I might have to burn the rubber out of it and go old school where you beat the living hell out of the uh, metal sleeve with the with an air hammer. So we're going to try the 3 8 on there, impact, and see if it does anything besides uh, strip the bolt. Last time I was out here, I don't know. So let's see if it'll, let's see. slide into the uh whatchamacallit so we got that going mm. Maybe I can... mm. all right so that is not working very well i wonder if the big fat boy will fit on there just a breaker there we go see what this is for is once you get it to pop loose then you put it on the other side so that it can take up all that slop and space and other stuff now what this is going to do is it's going to grab everything and it's going to pull on it so let's see what it does hope you're learning because you know i don't want to just be like okay oh and it's done yay no time at all all this shit takes time let's see what we can break back to the other one we're gonna put this on the front of here we'll go to the little guy things are a little bit um, out of shape okay mm, it's coming out pretty good so what we'll do now take the fat boy put him on there so we got extra room oh look there's a washer in there not anymore would a little guy work I don't know should have given you a fat washer to go along with that too all right let's do that let me get the nut back on here we'll spray a little more lubrication it's always good to lube your threads whenever you're doing kind of pulling and pushing and stuff so this way they don't get galled the holy hell and let's see if it goes the rest of the way even though it's kind of tweaked deep can that piece go without causing a major issue it can go all the way to the end all right we're gonna do that again does that seem to work and now that I've destroyed these threads yes things get warm very warm I guess I didn't learn the last time I'm gonna burn my fingers, you know, when I was welding, but who knows? Alright. Come on. Do, do, do your thing. Alright. I think more than likely it's just gonna mushroom the metal on here and then we're gonna have to fucking cut it. Alright, 
that's pretty much what's going to happen on this side. I think it's probably better than the 80. Yeah, it's smoking, so that's good. Well, it worked for part of it. Let's see how the other side goes. Maybe we get lucky over here. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna touch the bowl with my fingers. <sighs> yeah, this stuff is, you know, meant to work more on newer cars, where this one is older. So let's see what she's gonna do. I'm not impressed with your rights are going. Uh, no. Can I have that back, please? Thanks. You know, if I was a smart dude. I would have made sure my gun was in the right direction. But, what can you do? Hmm. Alright, rock and roll. And we've destroyed the thread. Yep, we've destroyed the, the thread. Threads. Decent tool, but this is the kind of real deal shit that you, you know, you, you deal with. So this one's partly halfway out. I'll get you in here. So this one's mushroom to hold to hell, which is not going to come out. So I'm going to have to knock the rubber out of it. This one is lock solid. So, yep, same thing. We'll probably see if we can do the old drill bit trick with the rubber. And then I'll just take my uh, air hammer and a chisel and go old school on it. Since I already uh, trashed the nut and bolt on the, uh, on here, on the tool that I just tossed over. I mean, it's a great idea, but yep, threads are gone. That's gone. Like I said, this works for newer stuff. Hopefully the installation side works better, but this is gonna be fun. Uh, uh, well, at least the new ones will go in. I just gotta get a new, uh, Nut and bolt. All right, we'll get back to this in a minute. And because I'm such a glutton for punishment, I had to get out my uh, my seat, which is just a kneeler pad. All right, we're gonna try some drill bits here and we're gonna see how bad we can mess this one up. Because you know, Mustang life. Hopefully these drill bins ain't duller than shit. But let's just see what it's gonna do, where it's gonna go. And... Go to kill mode, please. Hmm. Oh, there goes the fucking drill bit. <laughs> I tell you, guys. Oh, my goodness. For real, man. How is it? I have no needle nose pliers. None of this shit is going to work. Oh, it did work. Fuck it. Let's go with the bigger one. What did I say about drill bits? Oh, yeah. That means you broke your drill bit and you got to get another one. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will you pick a spot? And just... No. Go in there, you fucker.
Well, I guess use a smaller drill this time. Huh? Chunk that out now, I suppose, huh? I'm just gonna start hitting things with hammers until they all break. Yeah, that works absolutely perfectly. Uh -huh. That works just beautifully right <sighs> see if we can straighten that out until it breaks and hits me in the eyeball <sighs> yeah let's let's try hitting rubber because that is not gonna work we just got my whatchamacallit out air hammer This is why the people on YouTube go, oh yeah, look, okay, oh, it's done. Because they don't show you the real bullshit you got to deal with. <laughs> Hopefully we don't break this one at all, so... Oh, that one's that's nice. That's a good chunk down. Oh, we're moving. Can I have the uh, thing for you? Now we got the sleeve loose, I believe. Yeah, okay. Well, that's great. We're gonna just push the rest of this out now. I bet you that tool would work now. There you go, there's the rubber. Huh. Now I'm about to go old school. Yep, we got our compressor in the background. We got this going on. I'm gonna put in earplugs because, you know, I'm already deaf as it is. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can reshape the metal that's all boogered to hell on the back side.
there's your old school method. Man, see, got that one out. So there's your old school method. I'm gonna go do the same <sighs> on the other side here. You guys wanna watch? Yeah? Okay, you can watch, I guess. See how that one goes. Okay? I don't know. How about over here? I like how it's just kind of turned around the whole thing. I should have just did it this way in the first place. Look at that. So now we're going to start crushing the back half of it. stupid tool all right so that's another way I can get bushings out <laughs> so what we're gonna do in the meantime we're gonna get this cleaned up I'm gonna get the rubber off me like I said we're gonna get this cleaned up I'm gonna get the rubber off me because now I got rubber bits everywhere and we're gonna get this thing painted yay all right now for the most fun part of the evening afternoon whatever time of day it is I don't know. It's hot out. I thought September, oh, I just gave away the month. I thought September was supposed to be cooler, but, you know, things happen, I suppose. But, we're going to finally get some color on this thing. I just shot her down with some uh, brake cleaner, blew it off, got all the crap out of it. We'll see what fish eyes, what actually sticks to there. Am I going to prime it? No. This stuff will pretty much stick to anything so i think that can's empty we'll start with a fresh can hmm. this looks promising it's got little couples all over it now hopefully i can paint this and then i can move the front end of the snout up and not have it fall over i think actually what i want to do is paint the back side first 
and then kind of tip it up a little bit. So let's see if we can get you guys over here and not have you in the direct sunlight. Hey, that's a nice camera. Look at that. Three coats of 1635 and let's rock and roll. Dry. Oh yeah, this is the good old dual color DE1635. Semi gloss. Hey, right. that's it.
So we'll see what we got going on for the rest of uh, this evening, but I think for uh, right now, we're just gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go enjoy a stogie. So see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Time for seam seal. <laughs> or what we will use a seam seal. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Oh, that's a big gap. Oh, rut row. Probably take our brush to all this shit too. We just want to make sure we get the floor all nice and coated. It helps when you follow your line. That's great. Let's see the left in here and over here. So I'll make sure we get it all. That's that's the name of the game, right? Making that big old gap right there. What gap? There ain't no gap, no gaps, no holes. No, nothing. Yeah, we got that little divot right there. Not anymore. I got a brush too, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna brush this in or not. I haven't decided. Don't really care, honestly. Hey, look at that. Hmm. Okie dokie. I don't know what happens if I brush it down. stuff look at that look at that mess it looked better as a bead <laughs> oh that's kind of funny that's okay Just get that all nice and all nice and sealed up. Hmm. Oh boy, this brush is hardening pretty quick. Look at that. I can live with that. Hmm. Oh, that was a waste. <laughs> uh oh. Was, all right. Let's go to the other side. See what kind of mess we can create over here. Where's my kneeler pad? Cause you know, as you get older, your knees get a little worn out. 
like it. And what we got going on in the corner here, it's kind of hard to see, but that's all right. We just uh, spooge it on there. There we go. And down here. brush and work it in. Look at that. Seal it all up, yeah. Look, pinholes. I don't see no pinholes anymore. Do you? Gone. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh oh. So we'll just take a little bit of that and boop. Right over that one. You know where that one is kind of fix that up a little bit. That's good stuff. There you go. Yep. All right. All right. Front is all sealed up. So we're ready to rock and roll. Look at that. Once this stuff uh, dries, cures, hardens, gases, leaks, Whatever the hell it does, then we can start painting the front end anyway. But we still got to dress all the back and everything. Yep, we are back at it for a little more welding. I got some cracks I got to do. I got a seat stud that's kind of uh, being a little funny here. So we're going to weld that little guy up through the rust, maybe, hopefully. I don't know. Oh, and check it out. This time, brand new gloves. Are they the right gloves for welding? Uh, no. But... It's better than having a hole in your finger. And, uh, you know, this way when the BB lands on here, it'll just, you know, it'll, I, I get the combo of the uh, nylon burn plus the, uh, you know, whatever metal's going on. So, I think it'll be fun. Either way, let's see how bad we can screw this up. We're gonna have to tack and. Hmm.
just remember, grind your iron paint, make sure the welder yank. Really tough one to see without my fat head and big hand in the way. Mm. get a tack. Well, now we can get some stuff going on inside there is a different story, but we will give her a shot. Mm. Ow, 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 ow. Now we get a tack in here. Can we get one on this side? Not bad. Well, let's see what we can do here. We just blow holes through it or uh... Or, uh, are we gonna be okay? So here's the other thing. I don't know if I'm gonna film this because this might be way too hard to film, but I'm also gonna fill in all the original uh, sill plate uh, mounting holes too, just because the screws don't grip nothing. So we're gonna already beat them down. We're gonna fill them in. I don't think I'm gonna film it because this is gonna take a while and it's just gonna be a pain in the butt to film. So we'll check it out after it's done. All right, guys. Yeah, I really know uh, that you wanted to watch me de-rust some more shit. So I did the final, uh, Kind of clean up and everything now comes to the big part oh i also patched that in too sorry i didn't film it uh we're gonna start putting on some rust reformer also bottom of this door is pretty trash so we're gonna rust reform it and we're gonna pretend we didn't see it but 
Anything else? I also welded up all the spots there. Uh, I probably should have ran the vacuum over that. Hmm. Eh, all right, I'll do that before I uh, get cracking here on the rust reformer. So I'm gonna coat the panels down, all the stuff here in the back, all this, all this, all of that. That'll all get hit. Then we'll make our way underneath the car. It'll be fun. Ugh. So, like I've mentioned in previous videos, what we're using is Rustolium's Rust Reformer. This stuff is fantastic. We're slanty. Let's see if we can get everybody nice and straight. And yeah, this stuff works absolutely fantastic. You know, like I said before, we use it at the day job and it'll pretty much stop rust in its tracks. So we're gonna just slather it on all this stuff and just watch it change colors. Hopefully, I have enough. We did get a couple of, do have a couple of bottles, so we'll see where, uh, we'll see where we go, man. The thing I like about this, it's completely water-based, so you're not harming anything, you're not hurting anything. The only thing you're hurting is the rust, is, you know, rust. You see that bottom of that door over there we're gonna go hit that next yep bottom of the driver's door like i said before why why, why do i get all these rhymes going on in my videos now like i was saying we're just gonna rust reform this we'll shoot it with some color and then we'll forget that it exists you know, we'll just uh we'll just pretend we didn't see it Holes, everything. Who, who cares, honestly? I mean, I know that sounds bad, but 
Well, why don't you risk it in the door? Because I don't want to. Maybe the car will get that at some point, but it's not going to be, uh, it ain't going to be today, it ain't going to be in this video. Joust this on there, so. And we got a couple other sections here up front that we got to get. Treat all of this up here. Things going on in there. Also got one. You know, one right behind us right here. So let's go ahead and keep that. We were able to grind most of it off, but you know, I guess we'll treat it. Uh, there's some shit going on there too. Let's just glob it in there. How about this one? Okay. Glob, glob, glob. Blob, blob. So you get to your seams. All right. Uh, this is gonna just like continue to piss me off. I should have just left well enough alone. Nope. I had to go and mess with other stuff. All right. We're gonna pour some more rust reformer, and uh, we're gonna go underneath the car and start doing some of the real fun stuff. I just gotta keep away from. Uh, let me take a look at my torque box reinforcement kit first make sure i ain't gonna do no welding i'll be back with you shortly i'm already in work mode might as well just keep rocking and rolling i mean what's i could still get all of this stuff and i can just cut it off there so i mean hey why in the why 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 not why not, why not you know what's uh what's rocking i wish i would have known about this or done this the first time I did the car. That would have just made things so much easier. But it is what it is, right? Get your safety glasses. I should really go get a light so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Oh. And again, I really do like these new style Harbor Freight Braun lights that they came out with. You can get them on coupons for 24 bucks. They're kind of like the other ones that were straight and they would just, you know, do this. But these have an extra feature. Again, where they will fold completely so you put it in your toolbox and nobody can steal it. USB-C charging and it's actually brighter than the other one. <sighs> so. Yeah. All right. Now they get hit in the face with the things. Oh yeah, we're gonna be dripped all over. Good thing we got our gloves on today.
Well, I went to go do time lapse for undercoating. Well, not really undercoating, but rust treating underneath the car. And unfortunately, it didn't record. So the only parts that I left open were uh, around the torque boxes, because like I said, I got reinforcements to do, but I did do everything else underneath the car. You could see that things are starting to turn black. Anything that had rust on it or things like that. So, yeah. Oh, well. That's all right. It's going to look much better once everything's painted. So, I think I'm going to check out my torque box kits. What do we got going on here? Man, that looks good. I, I tell you, this stuff's pretty awesome, man. It does a great job of sealing everything in. So, but like I said, I'm going to check out my torque box reinforcement kit. See what I got going on there. And uh, see what needs to be done for installation. secret though i'm probably gonna have a cigar instead yep stogie time decided to call it a day on the car got a ton of stuff done today so imagined uh imagined managed that's the word i'm looking for managed to get this video in a pretty decent time frame got a lot of content in this one i'm really happy with uh how everything went today so we're gonna wrap it up here remember like comment share subscribe please i am so close to getting 100 subscribers my very first 100 subscribers maybe i'll do something cool i don't know we'll 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 we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there I'm like so close like four or five subscribers away from the, from the first hundred and there goes the dog as usual so hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend get out in your garage work on your stuff uh, hope you guys enjoy this video because I tell you what, I've had a lot of fun and I got so much done today, dude. So you guys have a great weekend and enjoy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.